So how do you actually use a track mat key in Premiere? So on the timeline, I'm gonna place my background texture on V1. Above that, I'm gonna place my B-roll shot. And on V3 is where I'm gonna place my mat. I can create this by hitting the Create New Graphic button in the Properties panel and use my Align and Transform properties to set the dimensions to 1920 by 1080. I'll line it in the center and then down here, I'm gonna add the degrees of the rounded corners. Okay, now to make this all work, I'm gonna to go to the effects panel, I'm gonna grab my track mac effect key, and I'm gonna drag it onto the B-roll, not the mat itself. I need to tell it one, where to look for the mat, and two, what type of mat it needs to be. So the way this works is it's looking at an entire layer for the mat, not just one clip in particular. So I need to tell it that it needs to be looking at track three, the video track three for my mat. So anything that's on this layer, if I swap out my mat and put in something else, is gonna use that. Now I need to tell it which type of mat it's gonna be. And there's two options here, alpha and luma. So you use an alpha channel mat when your footage actually has some transparency built in already. There's already a part of it that seeps through. The second option is a luma mat. This is gonna use the brightness and darkness of the image to create the mat. Traditionally, white will show through and black will get cut out. And it even includes a gradient in that as well.